Welcome back to another Turn Back Tuesday where we have a look at stuff that, that hits me in a nostalgia bone or takes me back. So today we're going to look at LCD games. If you've never heard of an LCD game, it means that you've grew up without them and you've got mainly Game Boy DSEs, PSPs and all that. So an LCD game is basically... A, let's have a show you one. So this is an old LCD game. I've got goosebumps. Right now that I'm looking at this in the light, I can see that screen may not work no longer. That's actually concerning. So... Basically you've got a background and you've got little static black images that would move or like, kind of like a calculator. So basically it's a playable calculator. So so we've got goosebumps here which doesn't look like it's going to work. So let's get the batteries and find so this doesn't have any, doesn't have the back battery cover which is upsetting. So let's have a look. So we've got some movement. So as you can see you get static images. Okay, they're gone. Oh, he's back. So, I guess I got this back in 96 or 97, roughly. Oh, something's happening. I'm going to assume that this one is goosed and buggered, which is upsetting. This was... That takes me back. So this was one of my favourite things. I didn't have a Game Boy until... I didn't get a Game Boy until about 99, 2000, which it was stolen from me, but that's a discussion for another day. Right, let's get the batteries out here because nothing's working and I'm, I'm apparently dying so I remember that dying sound very well so I'm a big big fan of Goosebumps I've got tons of the books, I've got the TV show on DVD, I love the movies, I actually love the movies they're, they're great, I didn't expect to like them but I love them so, I, so I'm actually upset this is kind of broken, this is one of my most cherished possessions I'm going to have to purchase a working copy e off, off of eBay at some point or if anybody's got one they want to donate, I'll be happy to take it so I'll just chuck you to the side, uh, I'm kind of upset with that. So that was from, that was from MGA Entertainment. So the following year that I got that, I got another one which is basically the exact same device with same layout and everything, but it was a different game, different screen. And this time it was WWF World Wrestling Federation's Undertaker, which... Um, anybody that knows me, if it's not Ghostbusters, I'm a huge Undertaker fan. Oh, I love the Undertaker, he was my childhood hero. So I used to play this all the time. Like I said, I didn't have a Game Boy. When I did get a Game Boy, my first game was WrestleMania 2000. So I played that to death. So here we go, we've got the Undertaker. So let's have a look. So same layout as that one. We've got this sound mode reset button. Little speaker, we've got the D-pad, we've got the start attack button. Like that one again, I don't have the... The battery cover, which is upsetting, it only takes two double A's. Came out in 1997. That one was incorporated from 96. So let's have a look and see if this one works. I've actually not tested any of these before, pre pre previous to the video, so uh, I'm kind of worried because as much as I love that one, I love this one more. Because back then, I, I seen lots of the LCDs games. It was mostly Stone Cold ones. I didn't know you got an Undertaker one. But my mum and dad managed to get me this for Christmas. Oh, and it made my it made it made my Christmas. So let's see, does this bad boy work? Let's get this rolling. So please, please, please. Oh, that's promising. So like I said, this is more a better demonstration of an LCD game. So it's like basic static images that pop in and out, just like a calculator kind of. So what have we got here? So we've got a very flamboyant wrestler kicking his heat foot out weird looking championship belt and I can see two pictures of Kane is that my health? is that my life? why is, why is it Kane? I'm going to assume this was a bog standard game that they maybe just changed the sticker on so let's see I can see the Undertaker down in the bottom corner you don't go the Undertaker I don't remember this am I playing as Kane? I don't play it yeah it looks like you're fighting the Undertaker and I'm playing as Kane I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. That's kind of uh, tainted this thing for me a wee bit. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, because I can see that. Like, if I look at it with my bare eyes, my, plate, my, bare, my eyes, if I look at this with my eyes, if I can speak normal, I can't see much detail, but looking through the camera, it's clear. So I can actually see more detail looking through the camera, and I can see it's kind of, so let's see if it can start. Okay. Mode. Okay, so it's changed. Level 1? Now let's try level 1. 
Du, du, du. Mm, Greta. Mm, mm, mm. Where did I get that thing up there? How did I get that lightning bolt? Alright, let's go up here. What the hell am I doing? I'm gonna go take him out. How did I get that lightning bolt? Well, I wanna go take out Flamboyant Boy. Oh, god damn it. Alright, come on, here we go. Taking him out. Taking him out. I'm gonna let him appear again. Boom, there we go. Kick your leg out. There we go. Oh, god. Oh, Jesus. Right, I can do this time, people. I can do it. Did I collect that lightning bolt or did it just disappear? Right, oh, I'm, de I'm doing this faster. It's amazing to think that this actually kept me entertained for hours when I was younger. How old would I have been when I got this? I would have been about... Oh, Jesus. I did hit him. Does he get health? Is that meant to be Stone Cold? I just realised, that meant to be Stone Cold and is this like Shawn Michaels I'm fighting? Jesus. Come on, here we go. Oh, come on! Alright, one more go, one more go. I'm actually getting a wee bit addicted. I can see why I was addicted back in the day. This punch, yeah. I can't believe I'm not playing as Undertaker. That's kind of ruined my childhood a little bit. Here's me thinking my eyesight nowadays is bad. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, I managed to get up there before the Undertaker appeared. Oh, yes! Wait a minute. Get, let me get the belt. Let me get the belt. Move forward, Ken. Move forward, you bum dildo. All right, I'm going to assume I need to collect these lightning bolts. Let me get this one. All right. I've got 800 points, but that's. Oh wait, I've got a lightning bolt. It's appeared at the top. Maybe I only need one, nope. Not letting them move forward. I just need to moonwalk it past HBK. Come on. I can do it. We need two lightning bolts, Ken. Come on. Let's go for it. Oh, I've got them both. They're both at the top. Here we go. Punch him. Yes! That's definitely Kane and I've won. The hell kind of tune? They were on a level 2. I so that. I enjoyed that. That took me back. So. So I. That took me back. I'm actually going to play a bit of that later on. So they're not the only LCD games I've got. So I'm going to hit you a wee story. There's a. A little town in Scotland, on the west coast, called Sulcoats. Now, right across the street from the job centre, there's like a hardware shop. It does a bit of everything. I can't remember the name of it, because uh, it's never really had a name. I've just, we've always just called it that big shop across from the job centre. So, it's like an in-running joke with me and some people that that shop has never properly updated its stock since the 90s. And this isn't, I'm not joking or exaggerating, they have literally never updated the the store stock properly since the 90s like the other day i was walking by the guy was putting stuff in the window and i thought holy crap he's updating the stock so i walked into the candy bar bought myself a wee rolling slice munched it by the time i came back out it was finished updating the window what was in that window he was putting out an extremely dusty and i mean extremely dusty big box full child costume of prince queen amidala from Star Wars Episode 1, and it was like a proper faded box. So he's probably found us round the back and thought, let's get rid of this. 
It's like it's got the headdress, it's got the dress, and it's got the big headpiece, the dress, everything except the face makeup. And I thought to myself, I would consider getting that as a joke if it didn't cost eight pounds. That thing's been sitting in his warehouse since the nineties, ninety nine, and he's charging eight pound for it when it's the dustiest thing I've ever seen. So every now and again, I like to look in this shop for a wee laugh. So about a year ago, I went in. I thought, let's look at the toy section, because I remember when I was younger, they used to have good Godzilla toys, and they used to have a good variety of Tamagotchis and LCD games, but they all started about 5 to £10, and to be fair, you're not going to spend that on a cheap LCD game. But, lo and behold, this day I went in, there were the usual, the, the, like some crappy like, pound shop sell toys, they're clearly brand new, but they also had like, on the bottom, bottom shelf, the dustiest stuff ever. Like, I'm talking about if you scraped your finger along this, it would have a big layer of dust on it and a wee trench on whatever you just ran your finger on. And they had two of these sitting here, and I remember seeing these back in the day for about £5, and I, I remember thinking, they look terrible, but when you look at the back, so this is it, LCD game, E quadruple eight. So it's a terrible box art. Let's, for the first start, we've got a couple of jockeys riding through the wooded area. It's not even on a racetrack. I don't know where they're going. So this table box art doesn't really do it, but I remember as a child, I remember looking at the back and thinking, I want this for the games. So we had a gra we had Grand Prix shooting, whatever that is. We had the back, the Brick in the War, Brick in War. I'm assuming that's Tetris or Space Invaders or something. But then we've got Dragon Ball 2. So this is what got my attention, Dragon Ball 2, because back then... Dragon Ball Z was big, and I love Dragon Ball Z, and I thought, Dragon Ball, I want to Dragon Ball game. Never got this, though. Crazy Brick, that must be a Tetris, that must be Space Invaders. But then, we've got Battlefield. Oh, so I wonder if it's anything like Battlefield and PlayStation, but then we've also got Dragon Ball 1. So, they're clearly the same-ish picture, just moved about, but as a kid, seeing something like, in the 90s, i never seen any Dragon Ball merchandise anywhere in Scotland. I remember watching it in Cartoon Network in Toonami, but I don't remember seeing any merchandise anywhere. So this was what blew my mind, seeing this Dragon Ball. So what else do we have on here? We had brick jumping and r boat race shooting. So I know this works, but I haven't actually played any of the games. So when I got this, this thing was caked in dust. I had to like damp a cloth, carefully wipe it down, get the air dust out. So this is the best condition I could have got it in. So it's not even in the greatest of conditions. So it's got bubble wrap, but when you look at this, this is like the most 90s LCD thing ever. It kind of looks like a calculator. So we've got the D-pad, we've got a rotate button, we've got our on-off, start, pause and sound. So it's like the cheap hollow plastic that you're most likely expecting. So let's get the batteries in and have a go. I just realised the length for this video, so I won't play it too long, that Undertaker game. Jesus! Tetris knock off much. Okay, so. So, how do you do this? Like? Okay, so let's just go for number one. Let's go for number one. So, we're, this is a car. So, we're in a car racing game right now. So, kids, this is what some games looked like to some people if you wanted to play handheld. And this is what you had to listen to. Unless you want to play it complete silence. You press the button to speed up. Oh, look at that excitement. Oh, and I crashed. So I'm not going to play that again, so off. Let's try number two. Let's get rid of that sound for a start. I don't mind the sound being on now, so let's try number two. Wait, did, it, did, it, did we get any descriptions? So there's only four games, so let's try number two. Start. What the hell? What, what just happened? Oh my god, this is like the slowest breakout I've ever seen. Here we go. Jesus. I'm actually quite impressed at how well this shows up on camera though. Wait, I'm not playing it, that's too slow. It's, where's the restart? There should be a reset button, there really should. So, off. Let's get ready for the sound button. No, not happening. Let's try number three. 
So which one of these is meant to be Dragon Ball? That's... Jesus, that one was so super fast compared to the last one. Jesus. Oh, if I hold in the button, it goes faster. I wonder if that happened. Okay, I found a loop. Oh, wait, I thought I'd found a loophole there, but nope. It buggered me up, so let's try a different game. So that was off. Come on. No. Well, I'm impressed if I pause the game and turn it off, it does load it back up where it was. Oh, wait. We've got a lot more games, so let's try number five. Well, I've got a feeling that other than the driving game, they're all going to be breakout type games. So I'm going to leave that there. You know what? I'm going to test out that pause for you again. I'm going to leave it for a few minutes. We go paused. So I'll finish up. So I that's some LCD games. That takes me back. I'm actually going to play that once I'm finished recording. That's how much I hook. Although I'm I'm still upset that, that was actually Kane I'm playing as. So what what are you playing at WWF? You're you're just lucky. My childhood eyes weren't that great, and I didn't have glasses at this point. It took me years to realise I needed glasses. <laughs> this is all I needed to find out. <laughs> Jesus. So I so in the last video I didn't comment on this tablecloth. So I told my mum I need a tablecloth to cover this, and she said she's got a nice black one. That would have been fine. That'd have fit in perfectly. She's gave me this. It's not going to be <laughs> not over yet. Yeah, me. Don't turn it off. I forgot to turn mention while I was recording. So this is when this will be the first video I do that isn't a completely one shot. Hopefully I've got some editing capabilities by now. If not, you won't be seeing any of this, so it doesn't matter. Well, talking about the LCD games, I'm about to pack them away into the box. I forgot I had this on. This is the Donkey Kong LCD watch. So me and my little brother had one of these each. So this was basically the same as these. You had a little LCD screen, you had a wee Mario, whatever, jump. Doo -doo -doo. So you would use this to go left and right, up and down. Unfortunately, as you'll see, I can't get the battery cover off because I don't have a screwdriver small enough to get it off. So I've got two of these, both of them the batteries run out because they've God knows when they were last used. They were probably last used in the 90s when we owned them because I remember them getting taken off us because we used to fight over them. If one of us had one that the battery worked and another one had one that the battery didn't work, we'd fight over the one that did work claiming that's my one. So I never, I thought these were binned long ago then recently they were discovered up the loft. So I don't have a battery big enough to take this off and see if there's even a battery in there. Because if there's still a battery in there, I'm going to assume it's corroded to hell. So if it's corroded to hell, I don't think this will even work. But if not, and there's no battery in there, or if there's a battery and there's no corrosion, I'll put one in and I'll make a wee bonus video of me playing it on my wrist, old school style. So I, sorry about this, I forgot to mention it because it was under my sleeve. So as I was packing up, my sleeve slightly popped open. I was like, why am I wearing a watch? And I was like, oh my God, I forgot to mention the Donkey Kong watch. Sorry about that. I'll try and be more organised in the future. Have a good one.